from Gog and Magog will say, These are the inhabitants of the earth, and we have finished with them. There remains the inhabitants of the sky. One of them will rock his spear and launch it toward the sky. It will return to them dyed in blood as a trial a test while they are upon that state. Allah will send a disease in their necks, like Naraf, a kind of worm, which go into their necks. They will all die, and not a sound will be heard from them. The Muslims will say, Would that a man sells his soul for paradise and goes to see what the enemy has done? A man from them takes the task upon himself, seeking reward for his soul. For dying, he thinks that he will indeed die. He will descend, finding them all to be dead, heaped up top, heaped on top, one of he heaped on top of one another. He will call out, O group of Muslims, Lo, rejoice indeed, Allah has saved you from your enemies. They will come out from their cities and fortresses, and they will send their livestock to, to grace. But they will find no pasture except for their meat, the meat of Gog and Magog, meaning that their corpses will be covered every space of land. Their livestock will find nourishment from them, just as they found nourishment from the best plants they reaped. Related it from Yunus, from Muhammad, Isaac, in a chain that is good. After he mentioned that Isa will kill the Dajjal, at the eastern door of Lud, the Prophet said, While he is upon that state, Allah will inspire to Isa that I indeed released slaves of mine, slaves that you do not have the ability to fight. So gather my slaves and take them to the mountain. Allah then sends Yajuj Magog and Magog, and they, say, and they are, as Allah says, travelling quickly through every mount. Allah's prophet Isa and his companions supplicate to Allah, and he will send to them Gog and Magog, worms that are in the noses of camels and sheep, in their necks. And then they will fall down and they will fall down dead like the death of a single soul. Allah's prophet Isa and his companions will supplicate to Allah, and he will send birds who have necks like bucht camels uh, with long necks. They will carry them and throw them by the decaying corpses wherever Allah wills. In a place called at the rising of the sun, then Allah will send rain that neither a house or dry clay nor a waba, literally hair, will prevent it will continue for forty days on the earth, leaving it like a zalafa mirror, indicating that the entire earth will be washed clean. Then, then it will be said to the earth, Grow your fruits and bring back your blessings. At that time, a group will eat from a single pomegranate and find shade in its shell, until the Prophet said, While they are upon that state, Allah will send a good wind which will take them from them from underneath their armpits. It will take the soul of every Muslim. Or he said, every believer, the most evil of people will remain and they will engage in sexual intercourse out in the open as donkeys do. Upon them the hour will arrive. And in the Hadith of Ibn Rasul that we have hitherto related regarding the gathering of Muhammad, Musa and Isa, wherein they were discussing the hour, Isa said, As for its time, no one has knowledge thereof except Allah. But from what, more, but from what my Lord, as Jal, to him belongs might and majesty, inspired to me, is that the Dajjal will come out, and with him he will have two rods 
when he sees me, he will melt like lead. Lead, lead, melts. Allah will destroy him when he sees me. me. Even a rock and a tree will say, O oh Muslim, underneath me is a kafir disbeliever, so come and kill him, he said. Then Allah Azza wa Jal, to him belongs might and majesty, will destroy them. Then the people will return to their countries and homelands. At that juncture will come out, racing quickly from every land that is elevated elevated they will they will lay foot lay foot on their countries destroying every thing everything they come across and drinking all water that they come across then people will come complaining i will invoke allah against them Yajush and Majuj and he will destroy them and cause them to die until the earth is filled with their put putrid odour. Allah will send rain down. It will we sweep away their corpses until it throws them into the sea. And from what my Lord inspired to me is that when that will happen, the hour will be like a pregnant woman whose term is due. The people remaining with will not know when it will take them by surprise with its birth during the night or the day. That his khala, art from the mother's side, said the messenger of Allah gave a sermon and he had his finger bandaged from the bite of a scorpion. He said, indeed, you see that you have no enemy but you will continue to fight an enemy until Gog and Magog come out. They have wide faces, small eyes, blondness or redness in their hair. They will come quickly from every mound, and their faces are like shields.